Hi guys, it's Bambi's here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm reading Level 1 Science. Let's read and find out, of course, sounds all around. By Wendy Preferred, illustrated by Anna Christorana. It's an ant. The sounds, trumpets, dogs and cats. Snap your fingers, clap your hands, whistle chatter some pans. You're making sounds. Clinkle crutch through dry leaves. Splash, splash, splish, splash in the puddle. Make happy sounds, sad sounds, scary sounds, mad sounds. Shake a can of marbles, rattle, rattle, rattle. Shake a can of cheese puffs. Shake a can of pencils, clink, clink, clink. Your sounds fill the air, make more sounds. Sing, woof, talk, hum. These sounds come out of your mouth, but they start in your throat. Your vocal cords. When you breathe out, air passes from your lungs through your larynx, which vibrates the vibrance to travel through several air pockets, which change the way they sound, all to recreate your voice. Yes, this is my voice. I'm using these right now. Feel your throat as you sing or hum. Your finger, your fingertips jingle be, because your vocal cords shake to your sounds, to make your sounds. They shake back and forth very fast. This is called vibrating, and that makes the air around them vibrate these vibrations. Move through the air in waves called sound waves. Now be quiet. Feel your throat. Your vocal cords are still not vibrating. So there's no sound. A look inside an ear. Number one, sound moves through the ear and strikes the eardrum. Two, sound waves cause the eardrum to vibrate, sending the bones in the middle ear into molten. You hear sound. Number, it's number three. You can't see sound waves, but when they reach your ear, tiny bones in your vibrate. Then you hear the sound like... Birds chirping. Beating a drum makes it vibrate, and then the air around it vibrates. Then vibrations ripple through the air. They travel from the drum to your ears, and you hear the sound of the drum. Long ago, people used drums sound drum sounds to send messages they beat high sounds low sounds fast sounds slow sounds these sounds traveled through the air from village to village different drum beats sent different messages such as rain clouds are forming and or a new leader has been chosen Or it's an ant. People still use sounds to send send messages. Clapping hands say good job. Clap. A knock on the door asks, "Is anyone home?" Eep. And the siren on a fire truck means, "Get out of the way." Cluck, cluck, cluck. Animals use sounds to send messages too. The hen clucks to call her chicks. A ruffled gross makes a drumming sound to attract a mate. Thump! How? 
and a howler monkey roars to keep other howlers out of his territory. A howler's roar is one of the loudest animal sounds in the world. No wonder other howlers stay away. No wonder. In the in the dark, a bat avoids an object in its flight path by making high squeaking sounds. In its sound waves hit the barn. The the sound bounces back. These echoes warn the bat to. Change direction before it bumps into the barn. A bat finds food using echoes too. Sound waves bounce off insects. In total darkness, a bat can locate six hundred insects an hour by listening for the echoes. This is called echolocation. As sound waves travel through. Soiled ground as well as air. A snake has no ears to hear, but it puts its head on the ground. A bone in its head feels the sound vibrations. They warn the snake that an enemy, maybe mongoose, lurks nearby. Sound waves travel through water too. A mother whale can find her baby by sending click sounds through the water. The sound waves bump into her calf. Echoes bounce back. The mother whale listens and hears the echoes and knows where the baby is. Oh, what a, what a nice way. Ugh. Whales and dolphins locate objects by sending sounds through the water, then listen for echoes. Oh, this fish is annoyed by this dolphin. Well, that's harsh. People use a a device called sonar to send sound sounds in water. When the echoes, when the echoes. When the echoes bounce back, people know how deep the water is. They also discover where submarines, where submarines shipwrecks and schools of fish are, so they don't actually catch some fish or a submarine or something. Sounds are an important part of our lives. Some sounds, like music, please us. Some sounds like jackhammers annoy us. Some sounds are quiet. Some sounds are loud. How can you measure sounds? How much you weigh is a measure of pounds. How tall you stand is measured by inches. How loud you yell is measured by the decibels. Whisper, whispering meters, and only about three decibels. High talking measures about six decibels. Wow! Yell, a loud yell measures about eighty-five decibels. Soft, loud, ooh, forty is very loud. Rush, rusting leaves measure only twenty decibels. A vacuum cleaner will give you seventy. Loud music will give a bounce of one hundred. Jackhammer will be like about one hundred and thirty. A jet engine is one hundred and forty. A space rocket is very loud. It measures two hundred or more to like. Oh my god. That's a lot. Some loud sounds already damage you ear, your ears, so you should be careful about protecting your ears are around loud noises. Luckily, there are many ways to protect your ears, like covering your ears when a fire truck or an ambulance drive by, or covering your ears with a fire truck, or. 
or making sure you don't play music too loudly. People who are close to airplanes or jackhammers have to be even more careful about protecting their hearing. Like you can hear headphones or something. We live in a world of sounds. Telephones ring, thunder rubbles, glitter, water gurgles, birds chirp, bees buzz, friends talk, and we laugh, cry, hiccup, and sigh. Sounds are all around. Keep listening to me. So we got some activities for you. We got glossary, sound making games, activity. I'm gonna pause for a second, and you can take a picture. Three, two, one, pause. Okay, we're done. You gotta listen to sounds around you and listen to sounds drop of the water. Click now. Okay, I paused enough for you. So that's it for this video. We saw level one science read. Let's read and find out. Sounds all around. Bye guys. I hope you have a good day or good night or good summer or anything. Bye.